For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 20 of season 2 here at Oviedo. We start with the game at home against Espanyol. We're nearing the end of the season and we're in indifferent form. We've actually dropped out of the European spots heading into this game because Valencia have uh, played a game extra and Bilbao also have played a game extra. So should we win this first game against Espanyol, who are currently in 12th, we will go above Valencia and above Bilbao at the very least. And uh, we can hope that uh, Atletico and Real Sociedad also drop points, meaning that we could go above them as well and shoot all the way up to third. Time will tell, of course. Barcelona, after having an atrocious start to the season, now find themselves in second. They're not going to catch Madrid, of course, but they're uh, solidifying their place in those Champions League spots. We have Espanyol to start, as we mentioned. Then we have... It's actually a very busy couple of weeks. I, I didn't notice until the last episode that it actually was that round at this stage. But uh, we have Espanyol, then Las Palmas at the weekend, then Zaragoza, then Deportivo La Coruña, then finally a full week's break again before Betis, four weeks break to Celta Vigo, midweek game against Villarreal, followed by Real Madrid, then Sevilla, Athletic and Atleti at the end of the season. Big games. Huge games at the end of the season, but they won't mean anything if we're not there and thereabouts by getting the results we need in these smaller games between now and then. So, I'm going to try and get my results in these smaller games. Last time we played Espanyol, it was in the Cup, and we battered them by five goals to nil. So, more of the same? Yes, please. Back to down to Mark Rocca. Bit of space here. And I see the runner. In fact, there was two runners. Oh, that was very well hit was destined for the bottom corner if it weren't for Hurtado, down low to his right-hand side. Great accuracy with that effort. Corner to come in here from Alvarez for Espanyol. It's deep. Keep a thought by coming for it didn't, and I think that's gone in off Ed Lewis. I think that took a deflection right in front of the goalkeeper off the defender, and with the first couple of real opportunities on goal, Espanyol have gotten themselves in front. We'll see a replay. Let's have a look. Oh... Just hit him on the back and beating the keeper with a deflection right in front of him. No chance to, of uh, reacting to that. It's gone down as a Diop goal because the initial chance was on target. But that's a heavy deflection that has cost us a goal there. 1-0 Espanyol. Aselu into Correa. Aselu's gone again, but there's not enough room to get it to him there. Galdemez will find him now, though. And Vidio's making runs. I will slow it through to him. Vidio, oh! The shot did come in, but it was such a terrible attempted connection from Alvaro Vidio that nothing came of it. Squeezed that through there to Hasele. I'll try and finesse one from distance and was on target, but Roberto makes a comfortable save. Hasele oh, tried to squeeze it through the gap, but it didn't work. We will get it out wide here to Vidio. Dart inside. Nicely done. Find a teammate. And, oh, this time a block right in front of the keeper works defensively. Corner's coming from Joaquin Correa. Great delivery. Underneath that is Tobio. I wasn't in control of him, but he's headed that well off target. Chances are coming for an equaliser now. We just need to make sure we score one of them sooner rather than later. And then Perez in there too much. Rock a good tackle by Varela. He's just going to drive forward and keep going. And I'm going to poke this looking for Hasselu, who seems rather disinterested in the ball there. But he does get it back. We'll poke it through for Correa. And one! One is what I wanted to say. But off the post. Varela with the cross in. It's poor. Didn't quite hit that powerfully enough. And Correa with a great opportunity to equalise with the last kick of the half. Outside the woodwork, we go in at the break behind. Oh, Alvarez with a good turn. On oh, a dangerous ball in. And Leibach to stay with the turn as well. And he's done brilliantly. Oh, and he's gone in. I mean, Baptistao's work in the middle there was excellent. But I don't know whether that took a little nick off a defender as well in front of the keeper. It seemed that Hatada was caught off balance there slightly. If they've had... Another goal go in, thanks to a deflected effort. I mean, I've had so many chances in this game. Oh, that turn. And yeah, he's taken a nick off the man in front of him. To, is it to be on the floor? Oh, God, it's just not going my way, is it? Those little touches are just beating the goalkeeper with no chance of being able to react. It's not Hatado's fault. The defenders are trying everything to get in front of the ball. It's just, just being so unlucky right now. Took it away nicely, Ortiz, go back to Pineda. Hasele making the run, pointing where he wants it, and I'll give it out wide again there. 
to Ortiz. Will dink it looking for Heselu. We could be in for one back here. Heselu. Ooh, just pick the ball up. Pick the ball up. Pick the ball up. There we go. Right, let's go and get another one. Thought I'd missed that, to be honest. When it cannoned back off the woodwork, I, my heart sank. I was like, oh no, not again. But in the end, turns out to be a very good finish into the far side netting off the other post. We're back in the game at 2-1 with 19 minutes to play. Kiko with a throw. Caicedo's just come on. Pineda in there to Luis Sanchez. Also just come on. Heselu across to Vidio. Get it back to Heselu. Drop the shoulder. Get the shot off. Good save by Roberto. Right, come on. Let's get this equaliser. If I can get an equaliser sooner rather than later, we might stand the chance of getting another. Tobio again with the header. This time I was in control of him, but same result. Over the bar. We've done well there with Varela to win it back. Right, come on. Quick counter-attack. No. Quick counter-attack is what I wanted. Right, Heselu, run, 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 run. He's going. Play the ball over the top with Vialba. It's a great ball. I knock this in front of you. Heselu. Heselu. Hesa. Oh, no. Jordan inside there to Leo Baptista around the corner to Alvarez. Time running out. Just out muscled in there. Don't give a free kick, ref. Good lad. Oh, he's given the final whistle anyway. All right, then. Well, that's a defeat to Espanyol. I'm, uh, my form right now, I can't, I can't explain it to you. How can I beat Barcelona but lose to Osasuna, Levante and Espanyol? No excuses. I just have no answers either. Up next, Las Palmas. Montoro. Across there to Michel Macedo. Montoro again. Just a Roque Mesa. Give him a little nudge. Well done, Aguirre. Nicely done. Aguado around the corner to Vialba. I've got Caicedo with me as well as uh, Jonathan Pereira in the middle. It's a nice turn by Aguado. And we'll look for Jonathan Pereira and the run of Vialba. And Vialba. Oh, it's the underside of the bar. And cleared away by Michel Macedo. So close to a 1 0 lead after this 16th minute. But. Would work in the way. Really. The ball over the top to find Manu Garcia. Oh, got a block on it initially, and he's kept going, pulls it back. Castellano tripped, penalty given. What's happened to me? What? Why have I lost my ability to play FIFA? I don't understand what's going on. Come on, Hurtado. Do me a favour, make a save. Tanner with the stuttered run up. No! 2 deflected goals against Espanyol. I go the right way from a penalty and the keeper almost saves it and I still concede. Am I being screwed out of a European spot here? 1 0. No, don't you dare. Oh, ho, ho. heart in mouth as Hurtado spills the initial effort. Casado like round the corner there to Pereira. Into Luis Sanchez. Waiting for Pereira to arrive. But Sanchez could go solo. And he has done. Sanchez can't shoot, which is a shame. Otherwise, I'd be level there. <sighs> Bucciarelli on the run. Tackled. In there to Sanchez. I need runners around me. I'm going to go around the man that's lying on the floor injured. Aguirre will get this out to Aguado. I've got options. I'm actually going to go back to Aguirre. Now, can I find Jonathan Pereira? Mm, yes, kind of. I need some space, though, and I don't have any right now. Work it back into the middle. Aguirre. Aguirre! Wide. He's Jonathan Vieira down the right. I'm going to try and out-muscle him. Don't you dare! Let's give him another penalty. What have I done wrong there? Other than just out-muscle him. I've just out-muscled. Breathe. 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 Tanner to take a pen again. He's going to go the same way. And we've saved it this time. Now, why couldn't you have done that first time round, Hurtado? Oh, dear. And it's going to be my throw. Still 1-0. We're still in with a chance. Corner for Las Palmas. Garcia on this near side to take it. And flicked away actually I think by their man but Jonathan Pereira will pick up on it looking to get away from uh, Simon but I can't Get in there to Vialba turn well you can see the number of Las Palmas shirts flooding back in support and just no one really making an effort going forward for me I could play Pereira in that's not Pereira that's Caicedo it was meant for Pereira but it's gone to Caicedo and that might actually be a blessing in disguise Sanchez to Pereira back there to Aguado around the corner to Pereira again who's turned well Pereira finish Jonathan 
Oh, the relief. The absolute relief. 1-1, one, one, 68th minute. Let's go and get a winner. Good ball through the gap to Garcia there. He's in the box, causing me problems. Wilkinson gets the head up. Win that, please. Well up, Luis Sanchez. I needed you to win that, and you've done well. Alba to Pereira around the corner. Caught there from behind. Nothing given. It seemed to go in two-footed there as well, the uh, Las Palmas man. Roque Mesa gets that through to Garcia, who's in the box. And, whoa, first-time effort from Pucciarelli goes over the bar. Seven minutes to go. 1-1. One, one. Lato inside. There is not much time left. But there is opportunity still to get a winner in this game for either side to be fair Cassiano just out muscles Levenci there he just wasn't strong enough he's fresh on the pitch Levenci he should be able to just out muscle the defender in that situation and keep himself in possession but he's not done well enough and that's why he's going to be leaving us at the beginning of the next season heads that inside there though uh, is the referee going to give me time to get up the other end and create something maybe yet Gidi no Definitely not. Okay, well, a 1 1 draw against Las Palmas. Ay, 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 ay. I haven't won a game in ages. We draw, we lost today's first and we've drawn that one. I drew yesterday's final two and lost the first one. We haven't won since we beat Barcelona, I don't think. I'll check the fixture list, but as we head into the new month to play the game at the weekend, I think we're like six games without a win. We have Zaragoza. In fact, it's midweek, isn't it? We have Zaragoza midweek, and the last game we won was... Right, so draw, 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 defeat. That's five games without a win. We have five games without a win. And when you're pushing for a Champions League spot, that's just not good enough. Retzos wants to leave now. Duarte is finally 16 years of age, so I can call him up now, and I will do that. And I'll try and get him a loan deal next year because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to utilise him properly. But he will continue to grow throughout his entire time here at the club. But we haven't won in five games. Let's actually do something about that here against Zaragoza and close down those European spots. I cannot afford to throw this away. Great through all, looking for Angel. Ed Lewis with him. And he's turned him there, Angel. Now they oh, don't you dare get another lucky deflection. I can't deal with that three games in a row. Apparently, Raul Zaragoza have the worst defensive record in the entire league. 50, 56 goals conceded so far this season. Surely, we have to make them pay for that in this game as well by scoring a shed load of goals ourselves. I just I can't deal with the winless run we're on right now. I need a victory here. Just for my own self-confidence, let alone for the European uh, campaign next season. Fran into Angel. Looks for the ball over the top, but it'll be... Well, I hope it'll be picked off by Kika Feminia and is. Quickly look to turn defence into attack here if we can. I'll go for the switch. Ortiz Pyle drives that out wide there to Vidio. We'll look to accelerate away. Work that in there to Galdemez, who's tackled, unfortunately. And Jorge Diaz fires that quickly up to Angel. See the ball of the option around the outside, but Angel now has man on the outside on the other side. Martinez gets it back to Angel. Could shoot. Lays it out wide here to Zapata, who shoots, and Hurtado makes a good save. Well, they're not playing like a side that have conceded 56 goals so far this season, Zaragoza. They're playing like a side who have scored 56 goals so far this season. Fran here could shoot from distance but hasn't. Lucia will get the ball out wide again, I expect, and has done. Zapata to Angel. How's that for a cross? Thankfully, Tobias is there to head it away, and Correa brings that down. Right, counter-attack. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. I need a boost in self-confidence. I need to score some goals in this game, and I need it to happen sooner rather than later. Padillo with the turn inside. There's Hiselu. Roll the defender. Get fouled. Free kick. Right, OK. OK, Marcelo booked, but... There's options here from a, a set piece in this position. I'm not going to shoot. Just going to play it short around the corner there. Then go back to Hesalu and across inside here to Varela, who gets caught and no foul given this time around. Brilliant. Into Vidio. Back there to Ortiz. Out wide to Kiko Femenia. Driving down the line. Skips past the challenge. There's the delivery. And Hesalu isn't there because the keeper has come to punch. Vidio knocks that down, though. Get it out wide there to Correa. Spin on it. He's done well. Joaquin Correa just needs to find some teammates in support. There's Varela in there to Vidio, who's right-footed, so we'll hit that, but we'll hit it wide. Not been able to tackle him there, and he's gotten away again. Decent delivery. 
headed up by Lewis, not necessarily away. And Chisco Martinez gets it back in. Tobio couldn't clear it, and what a save from Hurtado to stop them from taking the lead. You'd have thought it was us that were down the bottom, and Zaragoza that were chasing the European spots the way that this game has gone so far. I don't know what has happened to me the past couple of days, but I have not been able to play good FIFA at all. Which doesn't bode well for the rest of this season, does it, really? We'll drill it out there to Alvaro Vidio. Inside there is Joaquin Correa. Salu's making a run, but whether it's the run I need, I'm not sure. We'll find him here. It's a half-decent turn. Vidio gets a better one in. Alvaro Vidio cleared away. Nice tackle by Ortiz. Quickly to Correa. Salu's made the wrong run there. I'll dink this, though, looking for... Well, it wasn't meant for Salu, but it's found him. And I'll look through there to Vidio, who's offside. I bet this ends up in the back of the net. Of course it does. Well, we've scored! But Vidio was offside when the ball was played through, so it's not going to count. We know we can put the ball in the back of the net, now we have to just do it legally, and then we can properly take a 1-0 lead. Pineda into Galdemez, looking for Correa. Drop the shoulder, across there to Haseilu, out of his feet, Haseilu, at last we score one that counts. Just two minutes, in fact, after Vidio put it in the back of the net a moment ago. Good finish from Haseilu there, edge of the box, he's drilled it lard, lard. Lard and Ho, he showed it hard and low into the bottom corner. Keeper, no chance. We lead at last. Thank God. Right, look to Pineda. Quickly in there to Husseilu. Cross to Correa. Now come on, Timo. Oh, fuck. Oh, never mind. Come on, Timo. Bang this tops. I mean, bottom corner will do. Bottom corner will do. We're going to win a game. It's happening. For the first time in six. Oviedo 2, Zaragoza 0. Timo Wolf drilling that actually very well into that bottom corner. Three points on the way. Caldemis drills it out wide there to Pineda. Never mind, we're not going to build down the right hand side. That is the final whistle. We won a game, lads. It actually happened. It actually happened at last. Oviedo 2, Zaragoza 0. They're my only two shots on target. The entire game, but we got the win. Severe win, a Valencia win. Great. So we're not actually closing uh, on either of those two, but at least we picked up three points. Oh, I don't understand where this stuttering form has come from. I've been playing good FIFA recently, but the past couple of episodes just not working for me. Not working at all. We've got Deportivo La Coruña next. And then we actually are back into a period of uh, four weeks breaks between games before the uh, midweek one with Villarreal. And that's the final midweek game we have for the rest of the season, thankfully. So uh, the league table at present looks as follows. We are seventh. Three points off Valencia in fifth. Four points away from the European spots. We still have Atletico and Real Madrid and Valencia to play. And Villarreal. And Athletic Bilbao and Sevilla. In fact, I think we don't have to play Valencia again. I think I may have just made that up. Did I make that up? I made that up. But a number of the other sides around us, we are <laughs> we are yet to play between now and the end of the season. So it is in our hands. It's just that these hands have been letting quite a few points slip away recently. And they need to start winning them instead. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more. Hopefully next time I can do better. I'll see you then.